place the clay block into some slabs. It's not important that they are 100% uniform, but this will make it easier for the pasta machine to receive the clay as we roll it out into the uh, perfectly formed sheets that we're looking for. Now this pasta machine is not one that you would really use in your kitchen. This pasta machine was designed specifically for polymer clay. It has a wider throat, which means we can make a little bit thicker sheets of clay, which is what we want. We feed it into the top of the machine. You don't want to push it in. You don't want to force it in. You want to just gently uh, uh, apply just enough pressure to get it to go through the rollers. We're supporting it with the hand as it comes out the bottom so that it doesn't stretch or pile up and stick to itself. Now we're going to trim the clay. Well, ideally what we want is rectangles and we want them to be as, as even as we can possibly make them because what we're going to do is we're going to match these up on the, the sculpting foundation and picture each one of these as almost a puzzle part. Now we'll insert the eyes. It's important to lightly pop them in don't push too far or they'll sink in deeper than they're supposed to. You want it to just snap. You can see there how the eye looked like it just snapped into place and that's what you want to do. Now we're going to take our first sheet of clay and it's to our advantage to have the longest piece of, of clay skin that we've got. You see how the clay skin goes from the top of the head all the way down underneath the jaw to the neck and that's ideally the length you want. You don't want to go shorter than that, it'll create a seam. Now we're lightly pressing the clay skin, starting in the center of the face and moving outward towards the edge of the clay skin. Now we're going to trim off the rough edges that we've created because remember this is all about puzzle parts. The next piece of clay we put on is going to slide up to the edge of this piece that we've just put on. So we want to cut edges that are as smooth uh, and as straight as possible. Now we're ready for the second piece. We're going to take the edge of the second piece and we're going to mate it right up to the first piece. Now see how we've lined them up again, just like a puzzle part, and we gently squeeze the edges together. Well now we're going to put the layer of skin on. Now I want you to notice that this skin that we're putting on now is aged uh, super sculpy. This is probably a month or so old and it's a little firmer, which really in my opinion is a little more desirable to work with. It's not so squishy. And again, we're starting from the center, we're, we're pressing our fingers into the details, and uh, the fact that this is a more firm clay makes it easier. It doesn't, it doesn't sink in so far, and it doesn't squish so easy that we create more bumps and lumps than we want. By the time we're done, we're going to have about a quarter inch thick skin on this sculpting foundation, and that's about where we want to be. Now you could go thicker, but you just don't need to. Now we're going to make an open-eyed baby here, and so we're going to uh, show you how we go about doing that and in this case we are using the palette knife again you could use a butter knife but you just want to make sure that you have a nice tapered edge that's sharp enough to cut the clay we're going to talk about and we're going to identify each tool so you don't have to worry and wonder about what tool we're using and what it's called we will identify each tool clearly for you and all the tools again are available through your secrets dealer okay this is our first tool and this is what we call a flat chisel tool. And each one of these tools has a specific advantage in the formation of the sculpting. Uh, this one here, we like to use it for opening the eyes and, and uh, flattening out the eyelids. And by the way, these do come in a set. You get all five in the set, so you don't have to worry about which ones you need to get. And you want to always, as much as possible, you want to work left side, right side, and right side, left side. In other words, you, you don't want to work on one eye and get it completely done and start on the other. And when you sculpt the outside nostrils, they need to be symmetrical. The left side needs to be identical to the right. And so it's very important, again, that you work back and forth, that you do a little bit of work on the right side, and then you go over to the left side, and you make it look the same. And then you can go back to the right side again. Now this line that we're doing right now, between the bottom of the nose and the top of the upper lip, is called an angel's touch. Now you're not going to find that in any medical journals, but that's what the photographers who photograph children for a living call that feature, angel's touch. And you want to make sure that the nostril, the outside of the nostril, left and right, should be in alignment with the inside corner of the eye. So you don't want the nose wider than the distance between the eyes. We want to go with a rather large lip on this baby. 
a V shape, if you will. See how we can just pull it up and we instantly created a fold and a pucker in the lips. And there's no other tool that will give you this kind of shape so fast and so excellent. In this case, we want a chin. Now again, we've, we've got the marker or the locator that you can see sticking out from the sculpt. And we just simply took the uh, this hot dog shaped piece of clay and laid it over top of that locator, thereby assuring ourselves that the ear is in the right spot. Now it's interesting because the inner lobe actually looks like you've got a little fork shape in it. And it's always important to realize that you want that little fork shape. Now it can be a long fork, a short fork, whatever, whatever you desire, but you do want that because virtually all the ears out there and on real people have that feature. Isn't this great? This little chap came to life in a little over 60 minutes. This is what the secret sculpting form will do for you. It'll make the hard part easy and leave all the creativity to you.